If you want to take these critters into Unity and use blend shapes, the first step is to make your blend shapes. And the way to make your blend shape is to select one of the originals and you can shift drag it over there. Then you go to the vertex level and start to manipulate the vertices to form a new shape, which will be a new expression. Maybe you want to lift the eyes up. And surprise. After you're all done, you'll have all your blend shapes. I'm just going to delete this one. Make sure to give your blend shapes a name and do that under Windows, Outliner. Call this one Angry. And this will be the Worried one. This is the original one. Select your blend shapes in order by holding down the shift key and then select the original one. Go under form blend shape. If everything turned out well, when you go to the attribute editor, you'll find a blend shape tab right here that you could then switch between you can also use Windows Animation Editor's Shape Editor. And that also will give you your toggles. I'm selecting just the character, not the blend shapes. Go under File, Export Selection, underneath Animation, make sure that you have Blend shapes checked. I have skins and blend shapes. Blend shapes is an important one. Give your actor a name. Name your file and click on export selection. And then hop over to Unity and import your new asset. Drag it out to the scene. Press the F key to go focus in on it. Gonna need to reattach the texture map to the mouth. But before we get there, you can see underneath the hierarchy, here's the whole actor, and you'll find this child object called Neutral, which is our original character skin, and off in the inspector are the blend shapes. So all you have to do is now animate this using an animator or the timeline or a script. I'm going to inspect this original character, go to materials, and extract textures. This way the mouth comes on back. Now let's take a look at our actor. Angry actor, worried actor, neutral actor. A bit angry and a bit worried. Worried that it's angry? I don't know. But now you have the fun to go play with your character within Unity and animate it there as well.